What's going on YouTube? This tutorial I'm going to cover how to get files to and from your phone without actually connecting your phone to your computer. And to do that I'm going to use this uh, app called File Expert. And it's a free app on the market. It has options to donate if you like, but uh, it is available for free. So I'm going to go ahead and open it and take a look. As you can see here, it's uh, brought up my phone's SD card contents, and you can scroll through them. It's a pretty nice interface, and um, also gives you a list of your apps, which you can see up here there's an app button, your favorites, and then network, which works with a different add-on that you can download as well. I'm not going to talk about that right now, I'll just talk about the app itself. Um, you can do operations on some of these folders. Uh, let me scroll down to one of the folders I've made, which is the icon folder. Here we go. So just press on it to open it. As you can see it brings up the contents of that folder. It gives you some nice uh, thumbnails. So if I press a checkbox here and I press this little wrench looking icon down here, you can see this little menu pops up and you can uh, you can move it, you can copy it, you can cut it, delete it, stuff like that. You can get some info on it. Just press a little I there, confirm. If I want to copy it, I press that button and then it'll let me copy to wherever I want to. You can see I have the option to paste. If I hit paste, it'll say warning, this already exists. You can skip it, overwrite it, overwrite all. I'll just skip it for right now. Uh, you could do multiple files and do the same thing. Hit copy, menu, paste, and it'll again warn you that you're about to overwrite something. So I'll just see skip for all of these. And, nope, oh, didn't want to do that. So it's a, again, a nice um, memory card browser but one of the cool options is it's got a built-in FTP uh, client. So if I hit share, you can do web sharing or FTP sharing. And if you're not familiar with what those are, that's basically a way to have your phone act as a server and you'll use your computer's browser or an FTP client on your computer to access the contents of your phone. So I'm going to go ahead and turn both of those on. And you can see HTTP sharing is on. Gives you some info here. You'll want to make note of that because you'll you'll need that to access it from a file browser. So just hit OK. And then if I go to share again, I'll hit the FTP sharing and then again make note of this information because like, like I said you'll be using that on your computer so hit OK again and now I'm going to switch views uh, I'm going to get rid of the big main view of the screen here and just keep the little insert view here and I'm going to switch to a view of my actual computer so let's take a look at that okay so I've switched views here we got a browser open. This will work with any browser you choose. Uh, I'm using Firefox for this demonstration. Um, first I'm going to take a look at the HTTP server and I'm going to turn it off and then back on again so it can give me that information. Now one thing to keep in mind is your computer that you're using and your phone do need to be on the same network um, if you could see on my phone, the Wi-Fi indicator is on, uh, showing that my phone is on my Wi-Fi network, as is my computer. So just keep that in mind, otherwise this won't work. So in your browser bar, you could see here where it says network share, it's giving you an address. So you're going to type that address, which is http colon slash slash. 
And you can see it's it's in my history already since I was messing with this earlier. But the port number is 8080. I'm going to hit enter. And it's asking me for username and password. You're going to use this username and password here. Uh, you can configure that to be whatever you like. Uh, that's the default. So I'm just going to stick with that for right now. Um, so they just type the username, which is FE. And then type the password. File expert. Hit OK. And you can see here, directory contents. These are the contents of my phone's SD card. And... So if I click on this folder, it'll open up a new page, and you can see it shows me these contents. And you can delete, rename files from here. You can create new folders. You can delete entire folders. Um, so let's click on here. You can see, so it opens up that PNG, which is on my SD card. So that's the... HTTP browser. You can upload from here. Just hit browse and make that smaller so it'll fit here. And then just pick something on your computer to upload. And you can upload to your phone from this web interface. So now I'm going to open up a new tab and just hit OK for this. Now I'm going to show you how to do the FTP. Uh, server access. So again, it's giving me the login info here. So in my browser, uh, this time I type FTP colon slash slash 10.0 and it's already in my history so I'm just going to select it right there. Again, asking you for a username and password gives those to you in the app itself and like I said again you can configure that to be whatever you want username is FE password file expert hit OK and again the contents of your phone's SD card presented to you through this browser now if you want to take this a step further and make this a little more functional you can use an FTP client so I'm gonna go ahead and switch to a view of that really quick. okay so for this I'm using FileZilla it's a free FTP client you can download off the web um, I'll post a link to it in the description and the cool thing about this is if I go up here and put the information for my phone's FTP server. Username is FE, password, file, X, and then port 2211. Hit quick connect, and you can see over here in this window on the right, this is giving you all of the folders again that are on your phone. And this is a quick way to transfer files to and from your phone. Again, I'm not connected to the computer as a disk drive with my phone. The phone just has to be on the same Wi-Fi network as your computer or laptop. So let's go to... Where do I want to put this? Go to the desktop and say I want to copy this icons folder over to my desktop I just hold and drag over and you can see it's starting to copy everything from my phone over Wi-Fi very very convenient very quickly and um, if you don't believe me <laughs> I can show you the folder that's being created on my desktop. So let me pause this. So I've just shifted the window over a bit so you could see the transfer still is in progress, but I have created a folder 
on my desktop called icons and it's copying everything that is in that folder on my SD card on my phone to my desktop into this folder and you can see it's populating it slowly but surely and this will probably be even faster if my laptop was um, plugged into the actual switch instead of using Wi-Fi so again very cool app it not only lets you browse the contents of your SD card but it also lets you do file transfers without needing to connect to your phone to your computer via USB cable it's free in the market I'll be putting a link to it in the description if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you want to see some more tutorials for Android devices Go ahead and hit that subscribe button up top. Until next time, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and thanks a lot.